Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I want to thank you for your suggestions, however you decide to make them, however you decide to share them, so long as they are coming from a good place. And I believe most of those suggestions that you've been throwing out lately in relation to my experiences with iOS, specifically pain in iOS experiences, uh, as well as my perspective on the iPhone X's usability. It's UX. Uh, you've made similar suggestions over the years, whether you've known me that long or not, and I say you as a, a general community, and that is, well, if you're having so many problems with this, why don't you just switch to that? Oh, were it only so simple, but it's not, and I can't respond as easily without being flippant or without describing everything in detail. So I'm taking the describe everything in detail route in the hopes that I'll just send this video link to the next person who recommends I switch from this to this. Look, if I'm feeling pain here, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to feel any pain here. It may very well and will likely be different pain. Because that's how it works. Uh, if we're talking about two different companies, two different entities, two different platforms, two different products, two different ecosystems, uh, we're also talking about, more than likely, two completely different business models. We're not talking about financials. We're talking about uh, how it works here and how it works here. Moreover, just because I am talking about certain things that I have an issue with over here doesn't necessarily mean that I don't think it could get better because it's actually just the opposite. I say the things I say because I know it can be better here, if you will. So I guess for the rest of this video, imagine this sphere as uh, iOS and this sphere as Android. If you watched this video uh, a couple of years ago, it would have been uh, Microsoft and Apple, or Windows and OS X at that time. It, it may have very well been if you would have uh, gone back and watched this video uh, how many years ago, how many decades, a couple decades ago, it would have been OS 2 or IBM and uh, Microsoft Windows. I mean, you just, you, it's, it, it's as old as time, this whole idea of, of switching. And it's not as easy as it is to say. Or as they say, it's easier said than done. So, yeah, I, I, I've got a, a nice little macro programmed, and I, I don't know a programmed, uh, set up such that, you know, I, 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 I sometimes will, you know, send this off um, to someone who's saying, well, why don't you just switch to Android? So here's, here's what I have. One, ecosystem, ecosystem, ecosystem. It's not as simple as a single device or simply hardware anymore. It, it just isn't at all. That, that's, that's not how it works. It may work for you, and, and you may have a mishmash of, of experiences from different companies, so it's probably easier for you to switch from Android to iOS, or, you know, from, from Google's ecosystem to, to Apple's. But part of what works with Apple is that it's not just one device. It's a series of devices that work together. I, I've, I've said this recently. And that, to me, is, is just as much of the value proposition of staying and... Uh, calling out what I see as problems more palatable than abandoning something that can get better, might get better, but inevitably possibly won't and doesn't seem to be getting better. Uh, I, I don't want to just throw the baby out with the bathwater, so to speak. Even though, yes, with the iPhone 10, I am throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I'm not interested in any of the features because I just can't get past its perceivably horrendous design. I can't get past the, the UX shortcomings. And bless Apple, uh, they at least gave us a few contemporary options to go alongside a, a 10th anniversary phone. Why they had to, to do this now, I don't know. Because it's 10 years, this arbitrary number that's not important at all. Like, people were going to slag them. I, I guess if they didn't launch something special, I, I would have been just as happy if they, they said that the iPhone 8 and the 8 Plus were the 7S and the 7S Plus. I'd have been just as happy. I mean, we're, are we that stuck on naming conventions? Like, really? I just want a good product. Who doesn't? That's the idea. So, you know, if, if, if I'm switching from 
pain that I know over here to pain that I'm, I'm not as intimately aware of yet over here, though I do know pain exists, uh, specifically within ecosystems. Part of what was a relief in not just being a tech minimalist, which I absolutely am, not in just, just being uh, someone who really does not like hardware. I don't like gadgets. I don't chase them. I don't surround myself with them. I don't necessarily want them. I, I want less in my life. The less tech I have, the happier I am, believe it or not. So, you know, I, I'm not looking to have 40 devices to do just, you know, 40 different things. I'm looking for one. Right? I'm looking for one that works well with another. Because if this one thing doesn't work well with another thing, then it just creates problems. That's more problems in my life. I got more important things to do. There's a lot of Star Wars I could be enjoying rather than running tech support for myself. So, you know, that's, the, that's one of the bigger issues at play when it comes to the Android ecosystem uh, and, and the iOS ecosystem. And it's, it, by the way, not about fragmentation, which, for whatever it's worth, Apple people ain't got a leg to stand on with that anymore. If you want to talk about uh, fragmentation, uh, physician heal thyself. Apple's got so many variations, and now they're adding yet another one into the mix. You know, you'd think they would do better, and they did do better when they got rid of the things that weren't working as well. Uh, they, they, they cleared, cleaned house, and, and effectively started and made things simple once again, and took that approach. But now there's so much variation inside the Apple ecosystem. Um, with a number of products that may be suitable for a number of people, that, that it's a different type of fragmentation that, honestly, Apple should be able to manage more effectively. And they don't, for reasons as of yet unknown. As opposed to the Android fragmentation, and that's a completely different, quite honestly, disaster, uh, because you're talking about different uh, uh, derivations of Android. So when you talk about Android, and it's it's not good compared to iOS, I don't think you may understand that what you may have experienced in an Android device is not necessarily the same experience you're going to get in another Android device. So not only is it challenging to move yourself from iOS to Android, but then you have to decide which Android strategy are you going to adhere to. And there are literally thousands upon thousands of them from hundreds of companies, most of which may not be around next year. So you've got to you decide what it is that you're doing, not just in abandoning that which you know, but understanding what you're potentially giving up. And what I will tell you, all that said, what Google is doing with Android has been fascinating to me for the past year. What they're doing in the future or planning on uh, is also fascinating. But I, let me continue down my list. But first I had to talk through you know, these ecosystem differences and, and potential um, issues when you're not dealing with the same manufacturer of, of a certain line of products because Android can run on anything, whereas Apple controls everything. Much to my chagrin, sometimes. It's like a blessing and a curse on either side. It's, it's, not, it's not one is better. It's, it's, it's that... <laughs> At which point is something so painful or so lost that you ha have you have no choice or you feel that you have no choice it's a personal choice so even making the suggestion that you should switch number one is i'm not trying to diminish it it's an asinine proposition and it it, it it's flippant itself unintentionally and, and it, it just it completely uh, diminishes any degree of consequence from uh, taking those actions um, privacy. This is a big deal, and this is a this I, privacy is an absolutely huge feature. I I I will not uh, I will not slag Apple for this because this is something that they're doing well and they're doing right. They are a user advocate. Uh, in many ways, Google's business model because it's, it's Apple's business model. Uh, they're, they're just about uh, every uh, decision they make in relation to the user in terms of privacy is the right one and it's 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 it should be applauded it should be mirrored and if if, if any other platform were to, going to uh, copy apple strategy that should be it and i say that for everybody um you know i don't care what you're using it's it's a big deal and it's going to become an increasingly big deal privacy is absolutely a huge feature so just because i'm having an issue and let me tell you Issue upon issue, death by a thousand cuts in iOS, uh, 
it's 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 still something that I have to consider because Google, in many respects, I know it's going to be very controversial. I'm sure it's been controversial to this point. Um, Google's business model is user hostile. Bear with me, okay? Google makes a lot of money with advertising. They can only make a lot of money with advertising if certain details about you are known to other parties. Whether they obfuscate the data, it's irrelevant. Apple doesn't do that. It's, that's a very user-hostile approach. I mean, yeah, you control what you do on Google, but your data isn't yours. With Google, your data is not yours. You control what Google allows you to control, what they enable you to control. And I don't want to hear the whole, but Google's open. That, that argue, I haven't heard that argument for years. It was irrelevant back then, and it's still irrelevant. The average user doesn't care about something being open source versus closed source necessarily. There are benefits to open source, but Google in its approach to Android or Chrome, any one of its consumer-facing products, it has been more clopen. Uh, closed and open than it has been uh, largely open, and I don't think that's a, a tremendous value, uh, if only because I don't think the user is going to benefit as much as they would uh, in, in having a privacy advocate in their corner. So you know that's something else to consider when you're when you're you've got a knee jerk response or you 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 assert something to somebody and say, well then switch from iOS to Android. It's the best thing I ever did. Well, that's great. Maybe you don't understand the consequences. Maybe you do. Maybe the pain that you experienced is 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 less than the pain that somebody else may experience. Uh, discomfort, pain, agitation. Uh, you, you, I'm I'm talking you know around the same type of of feelings. So uh, I, that would concern me. Uh, in not knowing what 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 Google's doing. Uh, you know, completely and, and, and trusting what, what Google's doing with the data that, that I'm buying into effectively, especially if I'm buying a device. So, you know, I, I feel that, that that's something to, to consider, um, you know, for, for a lot of reasons. Um, one, or I'm sorry, three, another one, uh, support. You can't walk into a Google store. I'll be honest. It's been, uh, or whatever Apple's calling now, town, town centers, town touchy-feely coffee shoppy, bohemian, upscale, luxury, gathering places, town squares. Is that right? That sounds like a cracker to me for some reason. Uh, the, uh, uh, you know, isn't that what they call them? The crackers? Town, town square crackers? Town home crackers? So far off topic. So you, <laughs> you can't walk into a Google store. Like, if anything, Google could maybe set up kiosks, right? And I know their support, uh, you know, can work out well. And depending on which Android OEM you, you go through or, or carrier you go through, that support mechanism is going to be different. But I got to tell you, Apple has spoiled me in that respect. I just, I don't deal with anybody else. I don't want to. I want to keep things clean and easy. I, I got so tired of playing the blame game years ago. So tired tired. This was indicative and still is of the, the, the entire uh, Windows computer industry, PC, whatever the hell they're calling them these days. You know, and the problem is, is when, when, when you have a problem, who do you blame? Well, if this manufacturer makes the hardware, and this manufacturer makes the software, and this manufacturer delivers the service, and that's where you bought it, you've got potentially four or five chains you know, and, and not to mention maybe, well, fifth or sixth, you've got the hardware that was maybe not owned by the company that was put into the hardware that you purchased that ran the software by another. You're talking about a whole smattering of companies, typically. And that's still the case, uh, unless, of course, you're Apple. So that's another thing that plays into Apple's favor. It does not have a contemporary. As much as you believe Apple has competition, it absolutely does does not have competition. They may have competition for attention, sure. But, you know, in terms of, you know, dollars to dollars, sorry, that's probably not the right comparison to draw. Um, values to values, it's, 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 it's on its own. Like, that's, that's part of, that was the compelling reason why I was willing to give it a shot. And I found that, by and large, it worked well. By and large. All of that has been slowly eroding. It's like been, a, to me, a slow-moving train wreck. And, 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 and that doesn't mean that, that, that everything's horrible. It just means that part of what made it work well is no longer working well. 
generally speaking, and I'm not alone in this, but again, to suggest, well, just dump this set of pain for this set of pain doesn't mean that the same pain may not exist or different pain won't exist. Are you, are you, you kind of feeling me here? Uh, I know that I could be introducing pain and problems uh, simply by knowing what Google lacks, not just what it has, what it, knowing what it lacks sometimes is more important than knowing what it has. Um, and possibly, believe it or not, I think part of the biggest uh, issue I think that I know I would face beyond the incompatibilities that you introduce, especially when you start mixing ecosystems, you may be used to it. You may love doing tech support and when things break down, you love fixing them. I don't. Uh, so, you, you know, I, I, I feel that this, this, this one's a big one. Number four, focus, which I realize now applies to both companies. Focus. Focus. What do I mean by that? How many Google or Android products have been abandoned within a brief span of time? Now, we're talking not just about the OEMs who might be using a derivation of Android and slapping their own skin on top of it. That, by the way, is, is getting better with Treble uh, in uh, Android, Oreo, and beyond. But it's just how long is that device going to be supported? How long is it going to run? Where are you going to get support? How is that going to work? Every company's got a different response, but remember, it's, it's not always... Not always pretty. Uh, I know uh, I have an inclination as to what I believe would work for me, and I'll get to that here in a bit. Um, but how many Google products themselves have been abandoned within a brief span of time? How many Google products have you lost over the years? I, I, like five, ten? You know, sometimes they'll spin it up and then shut it down, even if you were using it. How many? How many messenger apps does Google have? Like Hangouts, Allo, Duo. Uh, uh, now they've got, uh, uh, what's the, I don't know if chat, chat's still around. Um, I think that's been m merged into to Hangouts. They've got Messenger or Google Messenger. They have to call it Google Messenger or Google Messages because they're afraid that they would be confused with Facebook Messenger. They've got, uh, seriously, I'm, I'm not done. There's, there's at least one or two more, uh, communication products. Google Plus. Now YouTube has communication. They've, in one ecosystem, <laughs> focus make it simple make it easy straightforward lessen confusion i'll give apple that you know they they've they've i think done a very good job in you know you putting out let's say facetime it's been around for ages it's it's evolved but it hasn't gone away i don't know what google's gonna do with any of their any of their hardware products or, or software products like services, so it's it's uh, it's a concern. That is a big concern, especially when it comes to hardware. Uh, you know, I don't know what their their strategy is. That's it's a big one. What what's their long term strategy for devices? And and honestly, I don't see them. I, I I see they've got some tablets. Not that I think tablets are a huge selling point. I just assume probably replace an iPad with a Chromebook. Uh, but uh, you know, I I I haven't necessarily gone down that process. It'd be like a touchscreen Chromebook. Uh, maybe I'll wait until uh, Fuchsia actually comes to fruition here in the next coming years. I don't know. I don't have an answer to that question. Uh, but I just don't know where Google's head's at. I know where Apple's head's generally at. I don't know where Google's head's at. And honestly, if to put a slightly finer point on this, where is their comprehensive, where is their comprehensive experience strategy? And I don't see one. Google traditionally has not been as much for the consumer or, or user as has Apple. Uh, by and large, Apple, you know, creates the products. In the past, they used to create products with the user at the, at the center. But Google, on an increasing basis, is making moves that are far more user-friendly, and I don't just mean in UI, and I don't just mean in UX, but uh, forward-thinking in terms of how they might use a device. For example, uh, free unlimited photo and video storage. That's Google. You can get that on iOS. Yes, you can. But does Google make it easier uh, on, on their platform? Uh, do, 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 you know, does, is everything more seamless on their platform than it might be on another? can't really answer that question. I, I've never played out that use case. I'm just saying that's just one thing that, that Google uh, is doing on an active basis, not just to woo users, but to really, uh, I guess, give me a little more confidence that we're not just going to get dropped off in, 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 in this device strategy 
that still seems to be in question uh, and has been over the years. Hardware, specifically, I, I, I have a, a, I think it's an Android TV. Hasn't been updated in ages. They abandoned it. There's no strategy behind it. It's just, it's, they try it and then it, it didn't work and then they dump it. I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to buy into that? That's a completely different pain. Like I don't, that that makes me even more cautious about wanting to adopt anything within the Google ecosystem outright, hardware or software. Uh, and I think that's a radical, uh, a radical different uh, a set of circumstances than it than it has been with Apple. So when you say when you say just switch from iOS to Android, it's not so simple. I know I. I know I've got some, as some people say, issues. Uh, but as I say, I'm not. I'm not picky. I'm not too picky. You're just not picky enough. There are two types of people in the world, right? People who see the problem, and people who don't. And I think most of the people out there are the people who don't. And those are the people that I would like to be able to communicate with because I do see certain things. You know, I get slagged all the time for not talking about things that I used to talk about. And then the moment I start talking about it, about them again, people tell me to sit down and shut up. Well, which is it? Do you want me to talk about these things or not? Like, I, I'm just putting them out there. So I, 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 I posted something on social, and this is all swimming around the, the same topic. Look, um, some people are saying I'm too critical with iOS or with the iPhone 10 or, or Apple's device strategy anymore than I might have been with uh, you know, any other company, and I have been in the past, Google, Microsoft, etc. cetera. Um, but you know, you know who else, and i got to be careful about this because it could be misconstrued, who else had the same level of attention to detail? You can answer this question before I do. Who else had such attention to detail? Who else? Who, who can you think of? I'm invoking his name yet one more time. Steve Jobs. I'm not calling myself Steve Jobs. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. That's not it at all. Like, that's where it could be misconstrued. I'm not even, not even close. I, I, I would, it, were I ha able to have, you know, a, 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 a fingernails worth of uh, gravitas and, 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 and vision and, and ability that I believe Steve Jobs had. It's not about me comparing myself to Steve Jobs or anybody else to Steve Jobs, because I think that's disingenuous. It's saying that the level of attention to detail that Steve brought to the iPhone is as much a value to the iPhone and everything it is as as uh, as as anything. It's, it's a part of the product. Steve's DNA is in what made the product what it is. So when I see that the product, for what it is, today as being a, a radical disconnect from the ethos that Steve Jobs espoused, I am I'm concerned. I'm I'm upset because I, nobody else sees it. Nobody, believe it or not, some of y'all are coming out of the woodwork. Like I've seen more comments over the past few days of saying, "God, I thought it was just me." It's not just you. There there are those of us out there who absolutely see these problems. I'm not saying I'm Steve Jobs. I'm saying that a level of attention to detail is not a bad thing. Even if you don't see it, it's not a bad thing. Just because someone's stirring the pot, it's not a bad thing. Conflict is good. Not only do you have an opportunity to challenge your own convictions, but you, you also have a, a chance to make something better. So I'm just saying, I don't have the Steve Jobs level of attention to detail necessarily, but I do have attention to detail. And it was Steve Jobs' attention to detail that brought us the iPhone X. Well, you wouldn't have it. You wouldn't, even, you wouldn't even be close to having it. That's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm concerned about. That's where I feel the, 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 something's missing. I don't know if it's gone. We just disappeared if it's never coming back. That is what is concerning to me. You know, and, and that's something that, you know, I, I kind of want to, I, I want to talk through again, but I'll, I'll probably be doing it in a separate video because I, I know I can be very long winded because these are not simple things. These are not point click decisions. This is not a meme and a funny tweet or, or a Facebook post. It's, it's, it's talking about issues that I perceive. And if I don't talk about them, I, I just internalize them. I, I feel, I, do, do I feel like I'm alone? Do I just let things happen until they happen and then say that shouldn't have happened? 
I take responsibility for it, right? Like for for my, what it is that I'm saying and, and and what it is that I believe. Do I have the answer? No, but I can tell you it can be better. Do I know there's a lack of attention to detail it currently that it currently exists with Apple's line of products, hardware and software? Yes. It's it's it's, it's plain as the nose on my face, which is a big one that I have to now trim. Like the hair is just it's, uh, crazy. Um, so that's, that's really, you know, what I think, uh, I, I, I have to say, you know, by and large, um, I, 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 I don't know if I'm going to stay and hope that things improve or, uh, this is where I, I referred to what I would get back to. Uh, I'm, I'm looking to, and I said this last year too, um, it didn't happen, but I'm looking to uh, what Google is going to be announcing here in a couple of weeks. I will be live streaming those announcements as I did with Apple's keynote, uh, giving you my honest take. Uh, I am, believe it or not, somewhat uh, excited about what Google's about to announce. I was uh, very disappointed that I was not able to get a Pixel. Uh, I, uh, I, I uh, would have liked to have tried one, uh, but now we're that close to maybe the next Pixel and potentially other devices in the mix. I don't I don't know. I don't chase devices. I don't really want to carry around more than one device. Uh, I won't. Um, you know, I'm looking for something that's uh, something that's solid. On that note, knowing that there are a lot of Android alternatives, I've seen a lot of you uh, ask me what I think about a variety of, of, of modern Android experiences. Uh, I will ask. Knowing full well that I really don't like doing reviews. Knowing full well that I'm just going to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. Is there something you really want me to look at for, and then tell me what you want, what you want me to talk about if that's the case, because I will do my best because I do not have the budget for infinite devices more than I've already got, but I will do my best to be able to communicate what it is you want to know from me to somebody else, uh, to be able to better secure devices to talk about them with you. If you are interested, uh, my inclination in the Android ecosystem is uh, 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 the uh, the Pixel uh, for, for several aforementioned uh, uh, reasons, but uh, it, it's it's anybody's. There's so many options. There's, it's 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 it comes down to specs, price, value, uh, you know, support, blah 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 blah. Um, you know, I, I I'm I'm with at this point in my perspective the least of all evils, and even if I do bring something else into the mix. You know, that's not a wholesale replacement because I've got other uh, other things to consider, other items to consider, other people in, in my household to, uh, to consider. Um, I can use a product, believe it or not, this, this is what twists me. I can use a product and still not love it. And that, I think, is, is really, it's sad to me to use a product and not love it. I want to use products that I love. Why do I love Star Wars? Because I love it. Like, it's, it's not, it's, Star Wars is not pain to me. Technology is pain to me. And I'm not alone. Like I guarantee you've had substandard uh, technology experiences in your life. It, it's, if you see problems that you just can't look past, you can't ignore, it's, it, it just becomes... Right now I'm living in the least of all evils uh, with so much uh, you know, me momentum uh, behind it. Um, you don't have to buy everything from a company. And I just feel that... I, I just know I won't from any company, but, but I, I just wish these things just worked better together. Uh, I wish they just worked. And they, they don't so much anymore. Um, so, uh, thank you, uh, for, for, for listening, uh, this far, uh, again, if, if there are any of those Android types of experiences, not that necessarily that you'd recommend, but like that you really want to know where I sit on those experiences, if I'm able to have them in hand, knowing what I've said before about reviews and everything, let me know, just comment, uh, happy to hear it, um, be very careful when you recommend, uh, or suggest that, uh, someone, anybody, especially me, switch platforms, because the answer is not always simple. I love you, I appreciate you, and may the force be with you.